This is when we're going to hedge. I think it's ahead of, uh, of a lot of markets. I think it topped here in July. We get this A wave, one, two, three, B wave. And look, here's the symmetrical move. See, one, two, three. The length of the C wave to equal the length of the A wave is at 469. And we're right there doing it on decelerating momentum. And we're doing it going into that major time factor. So, I mean, Netflix is telling you this, this to me looks this just screams a B wave. And if we get five waves down, and that's confirmation. I take the green, the green count off the board, and we're going to set up some downward targets around the 280s, 260s to start buying Netflix. And just like in 2022, Netflix will bottom before everything else or a lot of things. Um, so this will be one of the first big buys we make if we get confirmation. And keep in mind, what I'm showing you, are we're getting really deep into technical analysis here. We don't typically do this. Um, we're doing this because of where we are and the risk that I'm showing you. It's re Everything shows up in price and everything shows up in patterns. And so I'm showing you the risk like just firsthand. But once we get down here and we start buying, you know, put 5%, you know, moves into like these big names, these are going to be long-term buy and hold positions that we're going to be buying. So you're not going to be seeing us doing the buy here and, and trade here and sell here. We're doing this now because we're trying to squeeze as much juice as we can out of the rest of the cycle. Um, but long-term buy and hold is going to happen down in here. Um, whenever And when we start buying, you're going to think we're insane and you're, it's going to feel terrible and you're not going to want to follow along. That's just how sentiment works always. So um, Netflix, if confirmed, will be one of the first that we end up buying because it's ahead of everything else, in my opinion.